Making videos just like painting minis, sometimes you gotta improvise. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. So I have to do a little something different today. I have to actually show you how I painted this technically after I painted it because it looks like I either forgot to record or I deleted the video and I can't recuperate it because I deleted it like permanently or something. I don't even know what happened. So this is Whisper. Uh, she was primed in uh, Wolf Grey from the Army Painter. And as you can see, there's not much left that's Wolf Grey. Why? Well, just because Wolf Grey is fun to paint over. Uh, it's actually a good primer from Army Painter to print, paint over. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the steps here, what I did to paint her. Uh, and uh, yeah, show her what she started off. So the first one I went with was actually some Necromancer Cloak. Uh, this is a, from the Zombie Side paint set. Um, it's also the same color as the regular war paints. It just came in that paint set that I had that. So I used that for entirety of her cloak. So Necromancer Cloak, it works on her cloak. And as you can see, it's, I mean, it's already got the wash on it, so you won't, you can't tell too much, but I uh, used it on that. All right, so the next color we used was actually Opal Skin. This is from the Army Painter uh, Skin Tones. And I was used for her face and her hands. Now, I know her face almost looks zombified or that, but I could have put a little dot of black maybe on her eye here just to finish that, but uh, you know what? That's all right. Now, I forgot to take this color out, but it's actually for her hair. It doesn't show much. Um, I don't know if I can get a little bit closer here. If I get a little bit closer here, I don't know if you can see this or not. All right, so this part here, I forgot to take the paint color out, but it's actually just Vallejo purple. That's all it is. And it's just this, this little streak of hair here, right down here. And I put it very lightly on, so uh, yeah, it's just to make it a little darker purple. She has very dark purple hair in the artwork. Uh, the next I used was uh, Ethereal Spectre. All right, so I used that for the next paint, and that was just for her little um, veil here over her face and also these little pieces of um, I have no idea what you want to call it on top of her breast here uh, some sort of part of her dress anyways uh, then we used some pale flesh uh, this is from the green horde paint set and I think this is called mutant hue in a regular paint set uh, and that was used for all the inside part of her cloak as well as inside her hood here all the interior parts here and so on uh, Next color I used was leather brown and of course you can tell where I used that and this is just on her Oh corset. I think is that what you call that a corset? Anyways, uh, this here part on her chest uh, I also used it on the uh, Dagger sheath here and here as well and I use it on her shoes as well now I have no idea what color I used on the hilts of the daggers, nor the belt here and the little things on her boots. Cannot remember. I also did on the uh, sword of the dagger hilts here as well. You can see that on here. Might have been even skeleton bone or corpse pale or so. Maybe skeleton bone. I have no idea. I really, I'm sorry. I can't remember what I did on that one. Uh, for her leggings, now, it's not really what I wanted, but I was supposed to get this. So it's dark sky. You look at it, it's supposed to be this blue, but then you look at the bottle, it's very bright. And I was hoping for this color, and that was the blue I was hoping for. I could have done over, I could have maybe done something, but you know, it kind of gives her some character in that, on that blue as well. Uh, next, we did her daggers with shining silver, okay? So that's on the daggers here, and that's pretty, and, uh, oh wait, no, that was it. There's nothing else that has shining silver, just on... The daggers all right and then we're gonna put a wash over that to make it a little bit that and the wash we used was actually dark tone so we put this on the entirety of the miniature uh, as you can see it gets the nooks and crannies really nicely and you always go from top to bottom to put the shades on so that it gets into the crevices you can actually see like all these little like I could have actually done little details on here uh, with a different kind of gray just to give that I mean some people do it I'm, I'm look she's ready for the table and that's good enough for me. So there you have it, folks. Um, Whisper, the last of the rogues from Massive Darkness 2. She is a Kickstarter exclusive from the Stretch Goals box. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.